You've probably heard the adage about great people who come from humble beginnings, but did you know that the same could be said for many of today's applications and data centers? A lot of the world's most successful applications started as internal products that ran on small private servers. Today, more products and services begin by prototyping on internal servers that are built with off-the-shelf client components. It's an inexpensive way to ramp up as they push from prototype to production. Often this means using consumer-oriented SSDs, which are cheap to procure and replace. This is good when applications are designed for intermittent use, but what happens when an app gets really popular? In reality, unless you're already built on a dedicated tier one data center, your original design specs will need to change. This is especially true for tools and services that manage security, compliance, or privacy information that you want kept inside the network. Over time, ripping and replacing internal resources becomes a regular phenomenon as drives age, fail, or don't perform for the growing demands. While ripping and replacing client drives might sound simple for early products, we still hear about larger applications and service providers that continue to use them at scale. When things go wrong, they just pull out the old drives, sometimes hundreds at a time, and pop in another cheapo drive. The number of data centers employing this model is shrinking as the cost of enterprise SSDs is coming down, making them more affordable and attractive to ultra-price-sensitive operations and those that want predictable and stable performance from their servers. For high-end data centers, predictability of performance is key. Many data centers now understand that there is value in buying the proper class of enterprise-grade SSDs. Cloud hosting and software-as-a-service companies need to know that their enterprise SSDs will deliver consistent performance with minimal latency. Imagine an e-commerce site where customers add items to their cart, but upon checkout, there is a lag to process the order and payment. Both the seller and customer know this is a dissatisfying and less than optimal experience that can have a negative business impact over time. If e-commerce sites continue to experience latency and customers complain about the checkout process, they'll likely start looking for another host, CDN, or another application platform. Beyond latency, the endurance rating of an SSD should also be heavily considered. Across the board, data center SSDs have higher rated endurance specs than client SSDs. This makes them more reliable and relatively safer as they already meet the performance requirements the data center sets. Client drives today use exotic write and caching methods to save on cost, some eliminating onboard DRAM. Many use a small writing buffer carved out of the flash. A typical client drive that buffers will likely never be completely filled during the lifetime of the system, so no change in user experience is ever noticed. But with that same drive in a data center application with a 24-7 read-write operation, and slower performance will start to show up. Another consideration is to figure out what happens when something goes wrong repeatedly. If there's a technical issue with a client SSD installed in a server, the likelihood of getting good support or a fix from the manufacturer is not as likely as the drive is being deployed outside of its intended use case. For operations with SLAs that require 4 or 5.9 service uptime, taking a risk with consumer-grade products just doesn't cut the mustard. Enterprise SSDs come with the support and service that you cannot find with consumer products. Enterprise-grade SSDs aren't just off-the-shelf products. They are highly tuned for read-intensive and mixed-use applications. In many instances, there are custom nuances built into each product based on a particular use case which also includes supporting those use cases to ensure uptime. If something goes wrong with a cache of an enterprise SSD, your support team is just a call away to replace or re-engineer a product based on the operational requirements. The best advice for starting a server operation is to buy your SSDs from reputable companies and to get ones intended for your server workloads. If you install a client SSD on a server, you're using an untested hardware configuration and connecting to RAID controllers that behave differently than client machines. Basically, if you're creating an enterprise-grade product, start with enterprise-grade hardware. With today's pricing and performance, you'll still maintain the flexibility to ramp up without sacrificing performance or long-term scalability. In short, use enterprise-grade SSDs for the stability and reliability to make your product or service a success. Humble beginnings don't have to hamstring operations.